Hi, good evening to you. Good I evening. just wanted to just start with the news that's just breaking, just seeing that your appeal against Jan Bednarak's uh, red card has been uh, dismissed, so he is available for the next game. What's your reaction to that and the officiating um, in the game on Tuesday night? Yeah, I know that um, Jan was yeah, not guilty for having made a foul because I have seen the scenes after the game. Um, so that was the only possible decision for me. Everything else, uh, every, every other decision, I couldn't, I wouldn't understand to be honest. It's a pity that this decision was not made during the game. Maybe the result and the drama wouldn't be like it then has to be, and. Uh, uh, the only thing uh, I don't understand is when a player who fa makes the foul but was not a foul and the player who is fouled, they both say there was no foul. Why do I do then decide to, to give a red card and a penalty in this moment? But um don't want to, to speak too much about decisions that have been taken in this game. I think we have seen a lot of discussions around this game, around our last two games, to be honest. I think it's enough now, enough for what we have uh, been punished or how we have been punished for for yeah everything we did. We must a little bit more concentrate on what we haven't did right on the pitch also and uh, on concentrate on doing it better in the future. What I want to say is um, that because of this result, I conceded unbelievable yeah, messages, mails, whatever, from fans um, all around this club that definitely uh, had a big impact in in uh, in lifting me, lifting my players. I want to say a big, big thank you. We didn't deserve to get so much, uh, so much uh, yeah, lift, to be honest, because we didn't do a good job at all. We were a bit shocked about this early, early, red card from a young player who was a little bit over motivated I think in this game he also apologized today before in front of the team but the support that we that I have seen so far from outside I must say I've never have, have had such, such something in my in my managing career and um, no worry I don't want to resign my contract uh, after this game but the opposite is definitely will happen here that I Although it's a tough situation, I enjoy my job even more here. And I know I'm in the right club. And um, thank you for all of this. That's good to hear. Um, I wanted to ask you about Alex Jankovic, because very sad news that he received racial abuse after the game. How is he? And how have the club been supporting him? The club supports him in any way, in every way he can. we can. The government does the same, I think. And uh, this is our all goal to make these things in the future un unhappen and, and that um, we protect these players and uh, we all not free from mistakes, not the referee, not the player, not the manager, nobody. And uh, blaming somebody uh, is a responsibility, I think, also for the social media platforms to stop this because it cannot be. Um, looking ahead now, I mean, it was obviously a, a really disappointing result on Tuesday night, but you've come back from it in the past, that game against Leicester, you came back better than ever. How do you approach this next game now and how are the squad feeling? The squad feeling is uh, that we had made this experience once and what happened afterwards was a reaction that yeah everybody wanted to show and um, that lead us to position 11 in the last season i think and this is what i said to my players today i think we see now here a different team a different character we have learned from the past but things or games like this can happen from time to time especially when you get punished in in that way we 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 have been in the in the in the last game but it's up to us to to show what team we are and um, to show that we can show a reaction. And the good thing is that um, after every uh, hit back, you you see a new new hope. And when I see today a few players coming back from injuries, or he was training today, um, 
maybe Yannick is available for the weekend. We have with Minamino a fantastic new player got in today that uh, showed in the first session immediately that he likes to help us and he can help us. And uh, that gives us all a lift, an emotional lift, to be honest. And uh, this is what we need exactly in that moment. And uh, yes, then uh, we really looking forward to the game on the weekend. And uh, we know that it's a tough situation now after losing four times now in, in a row. It's not only this game, but a little bit un unlucky in the past in the Premier League. It's time to, to show that we can do it better. All the best. Thanks ever so much. Look after yourself. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, Chris Temple, PLP. Ralph, good afternoon. Um, it was very interesting to hear your the positivity you've had from supporters because my question was going to be, you, I guess, as manager, are responsible for lifting the players and, and resetting their mindset, if you like. But often people overlook the fact who looks after the manager and who, who looks after the manager's mindset. So how important have the fans been? How does that compare to last time? Yeah, the only people that supported first the manager are the, uh, is, is, is the family, the wife and the, and the, and the kids. Yeah? So the kids are far away, but today it's possible with with FaceTime. And the wife did everything she could yesterday to lift me. But when, as I said, when you see the reaction of the fans in that moment, I think that gives me such a feeling of um, being an absolutely committed club. And even if they are at the moment not in the stadium, they have a, a massive role to play also now. And um, I must say, I was very proud. What I have read and uh, I've never conceded such a positive <laughs> reaction after a game. I, I think, I, I don't know, the biggest win I had as a manager was not that emotional like like this uh, behavior. Thanks a lot. I said it again. And uh, um, we are now, it's now on us to, to give them a lift with playing a, get a better game next weekend to have all the up and downs we went through through the last two years since I'm here. I think uh, we were emotional and um, it, 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 I can only guarantee it's, it will stay like this. We will not win all the next games. We we will go through sometimes difficult times and 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 uh, then wonderful times, what we had also in the past. And this is what, what, fo what football was life is about. And this is why we enjoy doing this together and uh, being committed to this fantastic football club. How much of that positivity from the fans will you use or have you used as part of getting your players ready for this next game as well? No, I speak very often about um, the fist in the pocket, what we should have now to punish, to punch back. And after a big defeat and, and a horrible game that we must uh, stand up again and, and show them our attitude, our passion, our uh, yeah, willingness to turn things around. And uh, this is what they expect from us. This is what they loved from us in the past. I think we gave them in a lot of games everything we could. And uh, they know this. And this is what they enjoyed of seeing from us. And uh, this is what we have to show again. I know you're focused mainly on your own team's reaction, but Newcastle, apart from the Everton result, have been on a difficult run themselves. Are you expecting them to still be fighting to find that reaction themselves? Absolutely. I mean, in the Premier League, there is no easy game around. And we have never won there so far, never beaten them in their home ground. Um, so another big challenge for us. And uh, yeah, only a few days time to prepare. We have not a lot of sessions. We, we are happy about every player who comes back in, 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 in team training and uh, the more, the better it is. And it's very helpful that Jan is not uh, suspended. Good luck, Ralph. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Okay, Adam Blackmore. Ralph, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Um, it might have been forgotten, but uh, Takumi Minamino signed for you on uh, Monday night. Uh, you haven't really had a chance to talk about him at the time. That must have uh, had you dancing around your desk because that was uh, a boost for the squad, isn't it? Yes, I mean, um, I had today uh, the first time a chance to speak to him a little bit longer in German. <laughs> he he has very good German because he played long for in Austria. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's not not only because Jürgen said it's it's the right choice for us. I know that he can immediately help us, and um, that's the reason why I'm very happy that he's around the team now. Showed immediately in the first session that he has qualities. What what 
are very helpful for us in every moment and um, definitely happy to have him here in the squad. But no good news without the bad news. Um, Stewie has again a little bit problems with his muscles, so he will be out for the weekend, <laughs> I think. Stewie Armstrong, um, <laughs> it doesn't stop the 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 problems we have with, with injuries. But uh, as I said, Ori can be back and Yannick can be back. Kyle is maybe an option for the weekend to come back. A few good news, without not without bad news. <laughs> as always. Um, what about Minamino's history uh, playing for a Red Bull club? How much does that help? Because usually you take time bringing a player in to get used to your automatisms. I imagine it helps a lot, doesn't it, given how he's played for Liverpool and his Red Bull history to, to get him involved quickly? Absolutely. This is definitely helpful. Um, I think the vocabularies we use, uh, he, he, he knows them. Uh, also, the behaviour on the positions I think about him and uh, definitely helpful when a player comes in who has a little bit of a knowledge of of, of pressing, of um, yeah, coming uh, behind lines, of attacking the gaps, uh, quick runs, deep runs, sprinting a lot, uh, making the last step in a man. So this, all these things I think are, are definitely well known from him and, and um, this is um, helpful. Just uh, finally from me, what about the actual game itself and how the player, what the players need to do to uh, show that last week was just a blip, just a, just a, a freak, a one-off. What are the qualities you want to see in your players on Saturday on the pitch? Because you can't dictate the result, but you, the performance you can expect. Yeah. Would be extremely helpful uh, to end the game with 11 players. Um, this can, could uh, be absolutely helpful. And the rest do what we always do, uh, play intense. And I think... Um, when you see the way we conceded the goals on Tuesday night, I think there were seven or eight crosses and uh, without pressure on the ball. That's the reason why we normally have pressure on the ball. Uh, makes it easier for everybody to defend better. And uh, when we have 11 players on the pitch, it's easier to give pressure on the ball. And this is what we try to do and keep them far away from our box is also helpful. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. Okay, to James at TalkSport. Hi, Ralph. How are you doing? Uh, I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Ralph, it's obviously a really difficult time and the injuries aren't helping at all either. But what are you going to do and what are you doing behind the scenes to try and stop the momentum going in the wrong direction? Yeah, in the league, it was uh, definitely in the last two games, uh, a lot of uh, things going against us. <laughs> um, and, but we must be also clear that uh, we... We have to show up and uh, play better football and that we can do this. I think we have shown in this season so far. Uh, it's not a coincidence that we have 29 points, but um, it's time to to find back the win winning track. And uh, therefore, we need to do it better than like in the past. And um, um, I know that this is very often... Um, coming out down to the, to the injuries we have. Uh, yes, that's right. But also, without injuries, we didn't play bad. But in the end, don't uh, win the three points against Villa. We did a good game, but uh, yeah, um, it was not good enough. And I think we can do it much better. And that's the reason why I'm happy when everybody's coming back from injuries, uh, step by step, get more players to play for us again. And then uh, we have a bigger, a bigger quality in the, in the team. And, and finally, it helps massively to, to bring our match plan on the pitch. Would a win against Newcastle completely change the mood around the club? Or after a result like that, does it take a little bit more than that? Well, we have not a bad, we are not in a bad mood in, around, in and around the club. The opposite, I feel, in the moment. And everybody is convinced about what we are doing here and that the team is uh, not happy how it goes in the moment. But I think uh, it's like always. Winning games is helpful, definitely. But this is the same team that uh, not long ago uh, beat the champion 1-0 uh, at home. So, as I said, it's different than at the time where we lost the first time in, in this uh, with this Israel because there we were definitely a shit team. Sorry that I say this, but these were, we have, it was it was nothing. It was, we, were, we had no plan. We had no identity, no philosophy at that moment. We, we were wombling around. And uh, this is not the team that I've seen in, in, in this season so far. 
when you consider the fact you have lost the last four matches in the league, you're still in such a, a strong position in the table, just seven points off sixth. What do you feel like the club can achieve as we head towards the, the second half of the season? A lot. Um, we had also a bad start in the first half of the season uh, with two defeats and then we were seven games unbeaten. I don't see when we have all the players back. Do, I don't see us why we cannot do it again. And so this must be the goal for the next seven games, eight games, nine games, ten games. No, 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 no matter how much, how much game or how many games are coming up, and that my team can do this. I'm still convinced, and yeah, we have to show up. Thanks, Ralph. Good luck. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to Kyoto News. Hi, Ralph. Hello. Hi, yes. Uh, just to follow up on uh, your comments on Mina Mina, and do you have an idea of which position you want to play him in? Because he's played in so many different positions for Liverpool. Let's first welcome back to Japan. Eh? <laughs> I haven't seen you since Maya was gone here. <laughs> welcome back. Okay. Uh, very happy to see you. Um, yes, um, I'm happy that he's in because he's a fantastic character, a fantastic player. And uh, he will definitely help us uh, in what position I let him play. It's not so important. I think he shows that he has quality and uh, hopefully we can give him the platform to show up for himself and also help the team to be more successful in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Lewis Coombs, South today. Hi, Ralph. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I just want to, um, to head back to the Alex Jankovic's situation. Uh, supporters would have seen the headlines, but what impact has this had on him as a young individual? Yes, I mean, you can definitely uh, have better starts than he had uh, in a Premier League game, definitely. Um, but like we all do, we all learn from mistakes. Everything what we what we are is based on our history and on, on based what we have learned or done in, in the past. And um, there's nothing negative in life, but you cannot turn to a positive. And uh, this is what he has to do like everybody else does. We are all sometimes punished from decisions we make, wrong decisions. And then you have to to learn and 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 do it better in the in the future. And when he does this, then then uh, yeah, he he will come back stronger. What was the reaction within the dressing room from Alex and teammates when he received the the online racial abuse? Yeah, it's not acceptable. Um, absolutely not acceptable. I mean, um, I spoke about that earlier that the social medias have their responsibility to stop this. Definitely, um, I have my own opinion how quick this this can go. But maybe then there are not so many people around there in the in the social medias anymore. When you stop the anonymism of 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 uh, messaging, um, but it is definitely one part of of our society that is not uh, acceptable. And uh, finally, he is punished enough with the mistake he made, but. Um, I'm not here to blame him, definitely not. I'm here to help him out and to make him strong in the future and he will come back stronger for sure. You mentioned you had your own personal opinions that the club issued a, a very strong statement against the, the messages. From a club's point of view and, and your own thoughts, what more can be done to prevent situations like this happening again in the future? Regularize the social media platforms. This is the only thing you can do because um, they have unbelievable power to destroy somebody or to lift him if you want um, both is possible but you're responsible for this and this is what you have to know